Jiggy Cat On a damn villain spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And me hanging like a centipede Hey everyone, it's me Nagato Adventure. Hope you guys are having a great day for today. As the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to disable your PlayStation Vita's lock screen with no lock screen plugin. This does work with versions 3.60 to 3.73 firmware. So if you have something like 3.65, uh, you'll still be able to do this as well. Um, some key things I do want to state as of right now before we get into prerequisites, and I'm going to state why this plugin may be useful for you. Let's say if you do own a modded PlayStation Vita that has some issues with the touch screen and you are not always able to you know touch apps correctly you could utilize this plugin right here and instead of like always booting in via once you boot up your playstation vita you always gotta you know swipe to unlock your screen it will automatically boot into your playstation vita uh you know live area whether rather than just always unlocking your screen another reason is you know for me for this purpose i always not like or if you're using like the playstation vita dock i don't always like to you know go via from the lock screen so if you're using like a DualShock 3 controller or DualShock 4, you could kind of skip that step and you could straight go into like playing your games that way. So that's the reason why I'm installing this on my PlayStation Vita. But with that being all out the way, just for like some key things to know and you know just explaining the intro, we're going to get started on today's prerequisites. Any of the items I state will be in the download description below. So as long as you have a modded PlayStation Vita that's already hacked via using the Trinity, Hankaku, Agent Core, and Agent Core 2 exploit, you're good to go today i'll be using my 3.60 hankaku enzo vita um as i stated before this is for 3.60 to 3.73 firmware as long as you have the latest build of vita shell uh the latest build of auto plugin to actually install today's plugin uh files the ftb client to transfer over auto plugin or a usb cable for your 1000 to 2000 vita you're good to go but with that being all out to way for today we're going to get started on the vita and get this set up Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're gonna go ahead and get started on today's video. So what we're gonna do first is just open up Vita Shell. I'm assuming that you already have Vita Shell installed into your device if you already have a modded console. If you don't already have Vita Shell, I will provide you with the actual VBK in the link in the description down below. But once you open up Vita Shell, what we're gonna do is go ahead and install auto plugin.vbk. So what I'm gonna do now, let me just back out from here. If you have a USB cable and you wanna transfer your files that way, just go ahead and connect your USB cable to your PC, to your Vita. And then what you wanna do is hit start. And then let's say if you're gonna be transferring your files via with a, uh, uh, usb cable make sure you scroll all the way down to where it says select button make sure your thing is set to usb but since i'm going to be using files of the ftp client and i'm transferring my files over via with my internet connection i'm going to be using ftp so make sure as well if i hold down this button here your wi-fi is on so once that is all said and done all we got to do is hit select so i already know my i uh excuse me my wi-fi is on so you should see that actually the ftb server is not running all you got to do is leave your playstation vita on standby if you hit select and you use usb that means your usb is connected to your playstation vita but what we need to do now is transfer over auto plugin.vbk so i'll meet you guys back onto the pc Alrighty, so we're back onto the PC. As of right now, either your Vita should be connected via with a wired cable or you'll be using um, basically Fazla FTB client or any FTB client of your choice. So what you need to do is go in the link in the description down below, download auto plugin.vpk. And then once you do that, all you gotta do is go into Fazla FTB client, go into here. If you don't already have Fazla or any FTB client of your choice, I'll have that as well in the link in the description down below. You just install it like any other executable file on Windows 10. But what we need to do is go ahead and type in our PlayStation Vita's IP address. So let me go ahead and type mine here. Yours will be of course different than mine's, but your ports will be the same as mine. So one through three, seven, if I could type today. And then all you gotta do is hit quick connect. Once it's fully done, all you gotta do is take this auto plugin.vpk, uh, drag it over to here. And then once it's uh, fully done dragging over, I'm basically gonna rewrite this over since I already have this uh, older version of it, but has auto plugin.vpk it won't take too long since it's only 5.2 or yeah 5.1 megabytes but of course if you did this with a usb cable it will be much faster but once auto plugin.vpk is fully transferred over what we're going to do is go into ux0 here and then check if the file is fully done so yeah Thank you. 
Alrighty, so it's almost done as of right now. I got two seconds left. So once it's fully done, you'll get the little um, notification on your screen saying that all transfers has been successful. If you check the successful transfer um, tab, it will also state that um, its file is located here. So if you just go into UX0, let me just start again so you guys can get the picture. Go into UX0, scroll the way down to autoplugin.vpk since the file is here. You can see that the file size is matches up. So basically your file has successfully transferred over. All we gotta do now is go to our PlayStation Vita and then get this auto plugin.vpk installed and then install the actual plugin for today. Alrighty, so once you're on the PlayStation Vita, what you need to do is just go ahead and cancel out the FTP server, scroll down to UX0, scroll all the way down till you find auto plugin.vpk. So Here's mine's right here. All you gotta do is just install the plugin. You may get another notification that is just asking you to, you know, verify that you really wanna install this VPK. Just go ahead and hit X. Um, once it's fully done, all you have to do is just wait for it to install. Um, if you already had a older build of auto plugin VPK, it won't be flashing like a new application onto your device. But if it's your first time um, on your live area, you'll see like the bubble popping up and down. Like if you just installed a new game, so, it's just, you know, that's what the Vita does anytime you rewrite over content. But once it's fully done installing, what we're going to do is just boot into it. So it's at 97% now, 98. And um, Okay, so it's fully done. All we gotta do is go into actually auto plugin. So mine's is right here. Yours may be at the bottom of your PlayStation Vita. So what you need to do once it's in here, we need to install the plugin. So it'll back up your config.txt. Go into plugins for Vita. Go into install plugins. Scroll all the way down to, um, let me try to find it right now. It's called no lock screen so here is no lock screen version 2 and this basically disables the lock screen for the vita so all you got to do is either install it to ur0 or ux0 for today i'm usually put all my uh plugins into one folder which is on ur0 so i'm going to go ahead and hit x once it's fully done all we got to do is hit start onto our device and then your playstation vita will restart so once at boot it will read all of our plugins and then what we're going to do is check in vita shell to make sure it's there and then it would be good to go Alrighty, guys once you restart your playstation vita as you notice here it'll be booting up so here's my vita on hankaku enzo what you should notice once you boot up you won't have the actual lock screen to open up and it will just boot your playstation vita into the actual live area so it's loading as of right now I do apologize for you know my fingerprints on my Vita, but as showcased here, we didn't get the lock screen, and now we could just you know start playing our games without the actual application or actually the lock screen active. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, please be sure to subscribe. But with that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace